How's it going, everybody? Nas here, the Happy Developer, and I'm working on a very interesting project with Alexa. Um, I've wanted to do a project with Alexa for a while now. You know, I really like these these things they're creating with Google Home and Alexa and Siri, and they're becoming much smarter and much more popular. You know, the safe time is is something that takes you to the future. Is something that makes a product popular and very useful. Um, so I've got really interested. And I wanted to create a small project, which I have on my screen. Very simple. And yeah, I just wanted to share this with everybody and hope you can follow along as well. Let's go, 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 go. Bah! Here's our project, Alexa Python Tutorial. So the goal here is to create a color color picker. You know, it's and the point is that you should be able to tell, okay, my favorite color is this, and they should be able to remember. And then you should be able to ask Alexa, what is my favorite color? And then you should be able to see it right there. We start out with the AWS Management Console. You want to create your account. I already have my account created, but if you, want, but you don't have an account, just go to sign in to the console. From there on, you will search for Lambda. And Lambda, what Lambda is, what I found out today, basically it's a small server that runs your code. Very simple. I mean, I mean, it's probably more, much more complicated than I think, but from my understanding. You get started now. You want to type in Alexa. Boom. No, it's Alexa. We need the Alexa skills kit color expert Python here. Right here, it tells us the Alexa skill set. It will trigger the Lambda function. Cool. We got. We need that. Uh, name your function. I'm gonna name it My Color Picker. Is that what it tells us to do? My Color Skill. There you go. Python 2.7. So here we got the actual code that will be ran. You know, and and if you you can actually take a look at it here. Let's let's zoom in. Um, and there's a couple of things that we see. One is you know Alexa takes in um, a request and then you ha it has Alexa has a response. So a re it will provide a server some kind of a JSON format request and based on the text speech that you provide. What we can see here is you know this is build speech response. So this is a response uh, when someone asks Alexa something. So this builds you know output speech. It builds a, if there's a reprompt and so on. Um, this is a welcome response. It builds and it's all in the JSON format, right? It simply gives. You know, it simply provides the server this JSON formatted, uh, the just JSON formatted text, and the server later on uh, understands it and it knows what, knows what to do with it and knows how to respond correctly. The Alexa can just from here. So you see, is set color in session. It's it's checking if in the intent there's a color. So you would say, my favorite color is blah blah. So you're saying my favorite color is red. It will actually know that the red is an intent slot. And it will save that as a color, and you will, it will provide it for you in the JSON file, in in a in a JSON text, and that's how we know what to do with it. And then speech output. So in the output, when someone says my favorite color is red, you we it says I I now know your favorite color is this. You can ask me your favorite color by saying what's my favorite color. So there you go. And if something and if something's wrong is as in it doesn't understand it correctly, it will the speech output here is. Hi, I'm not sure what your favorite color is. Please try again. Get color from session. So it's trying to get the color from the current session. Um, session attributes, right there. So yeah. So you can even you can you can take a look at it more clearly, and you will be able to see how it interacts. But from now on, we kind of know that it works, and we will simply uh, we will simply go on. So create an existing role. We're supposed to create a custom role. When you've done that, you create Lambda based execution. You want to save that as is. Click allow. From there on, you want to click next. Boom. Cool. So we've got our Alexa skill here. Um, and then let's go ahead and create the function. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Create function. Done. Right? So very, okay. Done. And we have our ARN, AR which is ARN is what? Uh, I keep forgetting. We created our this the Amazon resource name. So we will, we will be using the Amazon resource name. We will be using the Amazon resource name inside the actual when we build our Alexa skill. Right here. But let's leave let's leave that for alone for now. So let's go ahead and go to step two. Go to step two you want to log into Amazon Developer Portal. 
you can actually use your normal Amazon account for this. Boom, we got it here. You can click on Alexa. Alexa skill set, get started. As you can see, I've already done this, but I do want to, let's go ahead and delete it. So, so just so you know, so we started from scratch, delete that part. Okay. Cool. So add a new skill, call it, what do we say? Color picker, call it color picker. And location name also color picker. So we could so location name is the name when you tell Alexa open this this. That's that's the name you're providing here. You don't want to leave the global fields alone. We don't need these anymore for now. Cool. Next. All right. So schema. So schema is something I kind of understand. It provides um, Alexa with intents. So you might have one intent that does one specific function. You have another intent that does next another specific function, and what you do is you provide, here are my list of intents, and here's what someone might, might say for those list of intents. So you can see here we have a my color is intent, what's my color intent, and the Amazon the help intent. The Amazon the help intent is, is, is an intent that's already provided by Amazon. But with these two intents, if we take a look here on the right side, um, you can see we basically we tell Alexa, here's how someone would say in order to activate my intent. So what's my color, which is from here, what's my color? And then my color is intent, my color is intent, my favorite color is this. So let's go ahead and, and do that. So intense, I'm gonna put that in. Cool, color, list of colors. Um, custom slot type, I will explain what that is soon. Enter values, so we wanna copy that type name. Okay, list of colors, all good. Click add. Mm. Sample utterances. You go back. So these are the utterances that describe your intents right here. So what's my color? Mm. There we go. Now for the for the utterances, what I'm understanding is, for instance, here you're saying my color is intent, and you, you're saying that someone would say my favorite color is color. So where is this coming from? Well, this is coming from here. My color is intent. So you see this name and the list of colors. This list of colors are referencing this slot type. So it would, you know, when someone says my favorite color is red, it knows this is a list of colors from here, red, green, blue, orange. And then it will invoke that the function because the name is a color and it simply references it, references it there. So that's my understanding for now and how it works like. How it how it works. Um, let's go ahead and save this. Actually we can probably just click on this next. Cool. And now what we want to do is actually link it to the server. So remember that lambda lambda function that we built? Let's go ahead and go back to that. Copy the Amazon resource name is the name I think. Is that is that is that the abbreviation? Amazon resource name. Let's paste it here. Um, do you want account linking? No, we don't. That's all good. Next. And that's it. So now we can say things like mm, we can say things like open color picker. Now we want to say my favorite color is red. So let's just copy that. As color picker, so as, you, so as you can see, it builds out the JSON JSON request, and here's a response that is getting from the from the server from the lambda ser lambda function, uh, and it's saying that here I now I now know your favorite color is red. You can ask me your favorite color by saying what's my favorite color. There you go. I'm gonna actually listen to it. I now know your favorite color is red. You can ask me your favorite color by saying. What's my favorite color? There you go. So now we can actually say, what's my favorite color? My favorite color. Ask color picker. And then let's listen to that. Your favorite color is red. There you go, see? Goodbye. There you go. And the session has ended right there. We can test it out. Oh, let's check it out. We can test it out through here. So 
you want to do this, you can, if you go to this link, and you want to do this on Chrome, or Opera, uh, because it doesn't work on Safari. There we go. Um, and you can you will connect you connect this website with your uh, Amazon account, and it will actually you can actually read um, your skill set and actually use it. So let's let's see this. Open color picker. Welcome to the Alexa Skills Kit sample. Please tell me your favorite color by saying, "My favorite color is red." My favorite color is blue. I now know your favorite you color go. is blue. You can ask me your favorite color by saying, what's my favorite color? Okay, it's cool. So like, it's working. Basically, you built a skill set that's working with in five minutes. Um, what's my favorite color? I don't know what yours is, but mine is infrared. Mm, can I say... Ask color picker, what's my favorite color? Does that work? Your favorite color is blue. Okay. Goodbye. But that's pretty much it. You have built yourself a skill set. Um, and it's working fully. Um, now, obviously, there's much more that I'm going to learn. That, and hopefully, I can show on this topic. Anyways, that is it for a little tutorial. It's not, not not much of a tutorial, more of a me following a tutorial. But it was very interesting for me because I learned a lot today and then hopefully people follow along and they learned a lot today. Um, but it's very interesting. I you know, I think I'll be going forth with more Alexa, Alexa skill tutorials and learning more about it. Um, but yeah, if you create it, it's crazy. If you just create like a small Alexa skill set in five minutes, it's, it's just nuts. Um, but yeah, anyways, so yeah. Hope everybody's having a good day, you know, and uh, stay happy, developers. If you can, you know, maybe give it a like, do some subscribing stuff, and then all those old other good things. I really appreciate that. Um, I will be doing much more videos and on development, and, and not just in development. I like I like doing different things. Dance, development, I like to travel, adventure, everything. So yeah, have a good day.